Welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey. This is Feed the Mind TV. So today, I'm going to teach you kung paano maglagay or mag-create ng upload default setting sa YouTube channel mo. So ano nga ba yung tinatawag na upload default setting? Sa isang video, ito yung mga description na hindi mo na kailangang i-type. Just like this one. So let's say, yung description, yung mga playlist na gusto mong i-type, ilagay mo na sa default setting sa pag-upload mo. That way, you will be able to save time at hindi mo na kailangang i-type ng isa-isa. So ilagay mo na to sa default setting for your upload. So you will be able to save a lot of time kung meron ka nitong setting na to. So for you to be able to learn how to add an upload default setting on YouTube, you have to watch this video until the end. And for more tutorial videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga tutorial videos that I'm going to upload soon. So let me now show you kung paano mag-create ng upload default setting. So right now, we are going to use the Google Chrome. So open your Google Chrome. Then kung wala ka pang link ng YouTube Studio, just type studio .youtube.com Then continue to studio. So the reason why I did not use the YT Studio application is mas madaling gamitin yung Google Chrome. But it's the same thing, the only difference is yung mga features mas okay dito sa Google Chrome. So once na na-open mo na yung studio.youtube.com sa Chrome, go to the lower part, left lower part of your screen, then pinutin mo to. That's the setting. And then, click this one, Upload Defaults. So, kung makikita nyo sa basic information ko, I already have the name of my channel, Fidamine TV. So, if ever na I'm going to upload my video, all I have to add is the title of my video. And then, for the description, so I already put a default description about link for my YouTube videos. So, ando na lahat nakalagay na siya. So, kung wala kang playlist, pwede yung mga video mo, mga link ng mga videos mo, pwede mong ilagay dito. So, the good thing of having this default setting is, hindi mo na kailangang i-type pa isa-isa every time na mag-upload ka ng video. Ando na siya. So, all you have to add is yung description ng video mo mismo. But the rest, yung mga gusto mong link na ilagay mo doon, hindi mo na itatype. So, you will be able to save a lot of time. Then, once na okay na yun, so sa visibility, just keep it public. And then, for your tags, pwede kang maglagay ng mga tags na gusto mong ilagay. At hindi mo na rin siya kailangang i-type pa once na mag-decide kang mag-upload. Kasi ando na mismo siya. So, this is all about saving your time. Then once na okay na yung tags as well as yung description and yung title, punta ka sa advanced setting. Sa license, standard YouTube license lang siya. Then for the category, so nasa iyo kung anong klaseng video ba yung mga i-upload mo. So for the category, let's say yung mga videos na i-upload mo is all about sports, then you just choose sports. So it's up to you. Then, for the video language, so depende kung ano yung ginagamit mong language. If it's Filipino, then you can put Filipino or you can choose the Filipino language. Or if it's English, then bahala ka. And for caption certification, ikip mo lang siya sa none. Then, community contributions is on. Then, for the comments, nasa'yo kung saan yung gusto mo dyan. If you want to disable the comment section, then ipress mo lang siya. Kung gusto mo namang makita yung mga comments sa video mo, then allow all comments. Then, sa lower part, users can view rating for this video. Kung gusto makita yung rating ng video mo, then just click it. So, makikita nila kung ilan ba yung nag-like or hindi. So, once na na-click mo siya, makikita ng viewers mo kung ilan ba yung nag-like or yung nag-rate sa video mo. So, once you're done with advanced settings and your basic information, 
all you have to do is save it here in the lower part save mo lang siya so let's check if okay na ba yung upload setting ko so punta lang ako ulit sa setting then upload defaults so once nakita nyo na yan yan na yung setting ng pag-upload mo so okay na siya yan na yung mga kailangan kong ilagay every time that I decide to upload the videos so meron na rin akong mga tags so it's easier for me to upload videos at hindi ko na kailangan mag-type ng isa-isa sa mga information na gusto kong ilagay sa isang video ko ando na mismo siya so let me show you yung mga description sa isang video na hindi ko na kailangan i-type so yung mga information na sa description as well as yung mga playlist link hindi ko na siya tinatype pa isa-isa every time that I decide to upload videos so it's easier for me to do that so mas mabilis na yung pag-upload mo ng video so imagine if I'm going to type all of this information or copy paste it so mas mahirap, mas matagal samantalang pag may upload default setting ako title lang yung itatype ko the rest madali na lang so that's the benefits of having an upload default setting sa isang YouTube channel and if you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. And if you have suggestion about a tutorial videos na gusto mong maging topic ko next time around, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Aldred. This is Feed the Mind TV.